Hello everyone, welcome to the stream. Oh, I just realized I'm on the preferences menu. Not exactly the excited one, but there we go. Cute now. <laughs> right, okay, let me tweet this so I can also put it on my Discord. I've decided to opt out of wearing makeup today because my face is a little bit not so great. <laughs> I've used too much makeup so now my face is a bit... I think it's because last week I put makeup on to take it off to put it back on so it just kind of... it's it was... yeah. <laughs> Just write it this. There we go. Hi Ivy, hi Sakura, hi Lerkuva, hi Ada, hi Kennedy, hi Lily, hi Fancy. Hello <laughs> everyone. Oh dear, dear me, but okay. Total makeupless face because yeah, I just said earlier, but my eyes sort of hurt a little bit because I keep on like putting makeup on, taking it off, putting makeup on, taking it off. So that's why I look very plain face, but that's okay. <laughs> MC in the front here outfit reminds me of Yukari from Persona 3. <gasps> Oh my gosh, you're so right, Ada. That's true, actually. She does kind of look like that, the clothes. Hi, Luna. Okay, without further ado, let's see what this is all about. Apparently, I think it's going to be a real emotional roller coaster. So, you know, I'm going to probably. I feel like I'm going to cry. Oh, hi, Kakina. That's really sweet. <laughs> Thank you. Hopefully you enjoy like my content and continue to do so. Hopefully the quality hasn't declined. <laughs> oh really, Asia? Okay. I keep on seeing it, so hi Liz. Glass Hut continues to seem that may be disturbing for some players. We want you to have a pleasant and comfortable experience while playing. That's why we have safe spaces throughout the game. With safe spaces turned on, you will be notified of a potential trigger and have the option to get... Oh, that is clever. So, on my server, I actually get people to spoiler tag trigger warnings because sometimes trigger warnings are spoilers like you know what's going to happen in the game if you know the trigger but this way you can be warned but also go in spoiler free i like that that's smart that's good hi Varga, welcome <laughs> but that's good i like that that's that's good have the option to get summary rather than playing through that moment would you like safe spaces to be turned on um i am good personally what would people prefer? I'm personally okay because I don't really get affected by triggers easily, so. Hi Mara, happy Women's Day to you too. I personally am gonna go with, I think I'll go with, well that's the thing, Anna Bunny, like it's actually, I think that's quite, that's quite, you know, considerate. Tea time with the girls. <laughs> okay, no, I'm good. And I, I feel like because it's a stream, we will all be here together to support each other if something horrific happens. But the option is there for those who, you know, are worried, which is good. <laughs> I've heard of those. I don't know what it's about, but I've heard like how crazy they, they are. A glass heart. This is often what my heart is compared to. It's weak, fragile, and must be handled very delicately. Because of that, I have lived my life in a hospital room watching the world through my window. 
The doctors tell me that it's to keep me alive, but is this really living? So if I remember correctly, it's one of those like they ha she has a, a a month or something for some reason or another until a, a surgery. I think I can't remember the, what the summary was, but I feel like it's gonna get emotional. The clatter in the hallway and squeak of the nurse's sneakers on the floor signify another busy day. Oh, what have I done? My nails are a normal colour today. That's a good sign. I can't help but smile out of relief. Good morning, Mira. I brought you your breakfast. How are you feeling this morning? Oh, we've got NPCs with voice acting. Good morning. Much better than usual, actually. That's great to hear. Your skin does look a little more vibrant today. The nurse smiles kindly at me and grabs the blood pressure cuff. It was normal procedure. However, as she took my vital signs, I could see the slightest hint of a concerned expression. When you spend years in the hospital, you pick up on the subtle things. Oh god, so good adult, I'm the same. When it comes to animals, and one that bothers me, it's not so much trigger, but one that bother, bothers me is other women tropes. Th those two are things that I really struggle with. I know, right, Luna? Hi, Edisu, welcome! Well, I'm finished up here. Dr. Hartman will be coming by to see you shortly. The nurse left the room slightly faster than usual. Another great sign. Amidst the sound of beeping machines, the chirping birds sing freely outside my window. They remind me of a freedom that I have never known. Other women joke, it's like when the love interest is, you know, still thinking about his ex or he's dating someone else or like that trope bothers me so much. The only time it hasn't bothered me is in Dynamic Chord. I, I don't know why it, had, it didn't bother me, but in that I was okay. But yeah, no, normally it's a big no-no for me. And I know, right? It is, see, I, I love it. It means more people will probably play it. I think the biggest step would be for indie games to be able to... Um, and look, I have no makeup on, so I can just scratch my eyes without any problem. <laughs> but I think the biggest step forward for indie Otome games would be if they become available on Switch. But I know that can be quite tough and expensive, so... It must be a busy morning for Dr. Hartman, since he's taking so long to get here. I think to myself as I switch on the TV. On the screen is a handsome man along with a blushing female news reporter. So tell me, Mr. Ilton, who is this lucky individual who will have their dreams come true? Sorry, who's this? A, a blonde guy that's got like a slightly longish hair. <laughs> and it's all nicely scraped back as well, like in a, in a, in a fancy way. Yeah, selective. I think it's because Dynamic Chord, I went in knowing that all the boys were terrible. So I wasn't really, like, surprised or phased. Oh god, 700? Damn, that's so expensive. That makes sense. Yeah, that's the thing. It's it's all money, right? It's, it gets expensive. I guess that's why Kickstarter campaigns help so much. Now, if I told you that, it would ruin the surprise. However, what I can say is, I will make that person the happiest they have ever been. So the first sentence of that voice actor, I was like, what's going on? But then the second sentence, I was like, oh, that's quite nice. <laughs> the news reporter visibly swoons, but does her best to keep a professional appearance. 450. That's still a lot, though, on top of, like, all the other costs. You heard it right here, everyone. Some very fortunate person will be made the happiest they have ever been by billionaire Nathan Rilton. Yeah, I wasn't quite sure what the accent was for a moment. 
Thank you for joining us today, Mr. Roten, and I look forward to finding out who this mysterious person is. I, 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 am, I think voice acting in an Otome game would be so much fun. I don't know. I always think it could be fun. I know I'm just reading it out loud, but like when you when there are characters that really work, it feels quite satisfying. You know. <laughs> Publisher to port PC game to consoles, then you don't need money, just share the profit from console sales. Ah, I see. Nathan's hot. <laughs> Ideally, I agree. <laughs> I keep on trying to click um, space, space bar. Thank you for having me on here, Hannah. Oh. It's my pleasure. <laughs> I don't know why, but it's, it's voice makes me giggle. I don't know why. <laughs> Coming up next, your daily weather forecast with oh, Dane the Rain Man. <laughs> Stay tuned after the break. The station begins its classic outro music and then cuts to a commercial. <laughs> I don't know why it made me laugh. Oh, maybe I'm just in a giggly mood. Okay. I wonder who that lucky person will be. A knock at the door captures my attention. One of the other nurses comes in to check on me. I'm not sure, though it wouldn't surprise me because I think a lot of uh, indies seem to be rampy. Hey Mira, I just wanted to come in and check on you. Are you feeling okay? Yes, I'm doing well. I was just watching TV. Apparently a billionaire is offering to make someone very happy. Oh, you must be talking about Nathan Rilton. All of the nurses were talking about him. Surprise, he's pretty to look at. Really? Yes, apparently his company is affiliated with our hospital. I'm not sure how, but they have connections way up the chain of command. That's a A heart palpitation hits me, oh no. Are you okay? I'm fine, just a little palpitation. No pressure or pain. The look on her face is a little concerning. Oh, okay. Just be sure to let me know if you need anything. I will. I give her my best smile and try to ignore her concerned expression. With that, she walks out the room. As soon as the door closes, I lay back in my bed. It's no use worrying, but that's easier said than done. The morning continues to drag on. It can be so boring living in the hospital room. With nothing better to do, I reach for the remote and turn on the TV. I'm gonna laugh if this is the next love interest, because I'm guessing the previous one was. <laughs> when turning on the television, a performance is the first thing I see. Oh my god, this is a- I'm not gonna lie, this is a great way to introduce all the characters, like, you flick on the TV, that's the next one, type of thing. Oh, he's cute though, I like him. So, I think, so the main character's hospital bound, we learn of the first love interest who's a billionaire this is the second one i think i think though i'm not sure if they're love interest but she's been flicking through tv and um but i think the game is going to be about her and only having a month or something and then finding romance i think that's what it was it is a constant performance of the hit singer life he's dancing effortlessly and pulls a girl close to him <laughs> I wasn't listening to the song, now I'm curious. <laughs> is this very like, I don't know what sort of genre this is, but... <laughs> wow, he looks really cool. His performance is mesmerizing. I love the dance they're doing. His song is really catchy too. It's no wonder he's so popular. I feel slightly envious. He has the ability to draw so many people into his performance. He, initially I thought it was a detective. Maybe it's like the, the costume or whatever. 
No doubt he would be able to make a huge difference in the world. I wonder what his life is like. He's probably amazing. A knock sounds on my door and takes me from my thoughts. Come in. I was always trying out. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> You're so critical. You think? It sounds fine to me. Although, if they ha like, if they went out of their way and actually got a tone deaf person to sing it, I would give them bonus points for that. <laughs> because I'd be like, that's great. <laughs> You know what, I want someone to develop like a true comedy kind of Otome game um, that would make me giggle like crazy because we don't have as much of that. There's always emotional stuff in it. I keep on pressing oh, sorry, space button. Oh, oh, hello there. <laughs> Wild, what? I'm sorry I'm late. Oh, he's already said that. Jay. Almost all of the stress and worry I felt evaporated the moment I saw his smiling face. I am tone deaf and it sounds good to me, Kennedy. Yeah, I think it's because, yeah, I feel like there aren't that many comedy or Tommy games because it's not the most popular. It's easier to leave an impression by being depressing and angsty than it is to be really funny. So I feel like a lot of Otome games just go down the angsty uh, route. Hi, Tsukiyomi, welcome. Jay requested to be my doctor when he began working here three years ago. He's the youngest physician to ever get hired here, but he is the one of the most skilled. The fact that he was granted permission to take over my care is a testament to his abilities. I have no doubt that he's the reason I'm still alive. He's always been there for me. He's been the emotional rock that I've relied on since meeting him. Yeah, it was an old fashioned tune, that's true. Hi, sweetie, welcome. And oh, that's really sweet. Thank you so much, I appreciate that. I'm glad you enjoy my videos. <laughs> That's the thing, writing good comedy is difficult because it's subjective too, isn't it? So, like, I haven't come across one that truly made me laugh. M maybe, like, scenes here and there, but I think there were a couple during, um, what is it called again? The indie month, where indie devs, like, make a game during a month, like an Otome. Otome? Is, is that, is it May? I think there were a couple that made me laugh, but, like, it was just bits. Yeah, that's the thing list. I'm thinking of Cuba Parasite. That's like the closest it's got. Your dad's name, Jay. He's, I, I'd say he's quite, they're all cute so far, to be fair. The VA of Hottie Poster Boy is also singing the opening. Oh, I didn't know that about Dairoku. That's true, Lisa. That's actually true. Good point. He's always been there for me. He's been the emotional rock that I've relied on since meeting him. He makes me feel like a person rather than a patient and breathes life into this cold hospital room. From the moment we met, he has insisted I call him by his first name. Doctors usually value their titles, so I was hesitant to be informal, but he was persistent. Yeah, I think it's Otome. But it, it's called some Otome, Otome Jam, that's it, that's the name of it. Every year there's this thing called Otome Jam where indie devs like sort of make as much as possible, whether it be like a demo or whether it be a short Otome game within the span of a month. Some of the games are pretty good actually. I remember trying like the ones that reached out to me. I basically played like 30 minutes of each one and then kind of like judged it. <laughs> I'll never forget the elated look he gave me the first time I willingly called him Jay. It made me very happy and is one of the many reasons I love being around him. How are you feeling this morning? 
and feeling much better, but judging by how the nurse looked when she checked my vital signs, I can only assume that my body is tricking me. Jay gives me a smile, but I can see a small flicker of sadness. If you are feeling good, then that is what matters. The vegetables. Oh yeah, there was an atomic game where all the heads were fruit and vegetables. <laughs> that was funny. It's not something I would normally play, but it was fun for like, like the bit that I played. It was good in like a refreshing way, you know? He rubs my head affectionately. Now, let me take a listen. I like how their mouths actually move as well. High quality. He placed his stethoscope against my chest. I swear that I can feel the slightest trembling against my skin. Is he shaking? After a few seconds, he moves back from me. Well, what's the verdict, doctor? I intentionally add a playful tone to my voice. She's still ticking. Well, that's good. I know what that comment truly means, but I'm not going to ask anything more. I'm just going to play it off and smile. Um, Jay, I've been on my bed rest for the last week. My toes are all tingly and it's not due to poor circulation, probably. Anyway, would it be okay if I walked around a little bit? <laughs> I love it. It is. I love the uh, the flex. What's it called? Not flex, but shameless plug. That's it. <laughs> As I like to call any <laughs> plugging of my server or my content. <laughs> yes, uh, Luna. There was like this Otome game called. It was like fruit and the love interest were fruits. He chuckles softly at my statement. As long as you don't overexert yourself and stay in the hospital. Roger that. I went ahead and brought you your medicines. Take them, rest for about an hour, and then you can walk around for a bit, okay? Sounds good. Thanks, Jay. I take the cup of pills from his hand and swallow them down. I've always hated pills, but after taking them as long as I have, it's basically the equivalent of drinking water for me. You are very welcome. I'll be back later today to check on you. If you need anything, you know where to call. Poopy? Oh god, yes, there was one where like... Oh, that was disgusting. There was this Otome game that someone in Japan developed, and it was like... Oh, it was like all the love interests were different types of equal matter it was it was it was disturbing to say that they all looked way too happy to be poop <laughs> have fun on the rest of your rounds i give him the peace sign you like the doctor uli <laughs> jay gives me a slight laugh and ruffles my hair again my smile disappears as soon as he leaves the room. Now, if he is a secret Yandere, then he becomes immediately my type. I, I feel like he's just a nice guy, though. Would be nice if there was, like, a touch of jealousy. That would be good. <laughs> but this is me talking about my preferences. <laughs> twice. He ruffled my head twice. That's not a good sign. I'm not going to focus on it, though. Worrying about it won't change anything. So I'm just going to look forward to my walk. 59 minutes to go. Also, do let me know if my voice is like too low or the music is too low or, you know, because I can adjust it. An hour passes and I finally get clearance to walk around. Even though I said I felt great, I can feel the toll of my own body weight on me. It's not overwhelming, but I do feel heavier than usual. I walk the halls and see all the people and nurses. Hospitals are such strange things. In the same building, one person is happily bringing a baby balloon and stuffed teddy bear, while another family is sobbing and comforting each other over the loss of a loved one. <laughs> Liz, yeah, I was like, if the doctor was a secret yandere, I'd love it. <laughs> and jealousy is everyone's friend. <laughs> 
You know what I love? I love it when two love interests have like a bit of a, a fight over the main character moment. We don't get it enough. Like, I'd like to see that more. Just avoiding all the J stuff by chatting about that. <laughs> Bit too low for me but it's because i'm hearing the crackling the pizza you're eating oh my god it is so, i'm so jealous i might have pizza tomorrow tomorrow we get to have a takeaway because um the day after tomorrow we're f you know flying to florida and it's easier for me if i don't have any dishes to do so hospitals are a place of life and death and the in-between i was so caught up in my own thoughts that i didn't notice the male figure quickly walking through the hallway is this the idol <gasps> Oh my god. Oh. <laughs> Apparently we both didn't see each other because we collided and ended up on the floor. Hi Kekeli. And oh, I've heard good things about Osmafia's uh, fighting over the love interest. I mean, fighting over the main character situations. And then tell me a game where the allies have a battle royale over the protagonist. Sounds like a concert. Oh my gosh, it would be so good. There's just something about jealousy. I feel like they just don't implement it enough. I don't know. I feel the pain racking my body and the slightest burn in my chest. Oh God. I was thinking that fancy in I was thinking that, which I thought was interesting. I look up and see the person I bumped into. He's already standing back up. Are you okay? Did he just... Oh my god, he's a bit of a dick, really. Hey! He's just going to leave? How rude! I don't think I've ever seen him in the hospital before, but if I ever meet him again, I'm going to give him a piece of my mind. Go, Mira. Are you okay, miss? Mira, are you okay? Let's get you to your room. No, I'm okay. No, let's get you to your room. I'm sure you are hurting after that fall. Oh no, she was on her way out for a walk as well. Rather than hurting, I'm more upset by the fact that my rare walk got shortened. Aww. Also, I feel like I've done something. There we go, that's better. That hasn't changed anything, has it? No, good. The nurses rushed me into my room in a frenzy. They all seemed very concerned, and it wasn't long before Dr. Moran entered the room. Oh, look at her. Oh, hello. Is she an ally? <laughs> oh, I think she should be. I mean, I'm not usually into, like, the female characters, but she would be a... She has potential. <laughs> Could be a Tsumoi, has a dark past as to why he behaves the way he does. Yeah, I can't believe he didn't help her up, Liz. Like, what is that? You don't like black pepper? Ivy Lou, I think because she's an NPC, they haven't drawn eyes. Dr. Moran is another cardiologist at Wellston. She's been here for around two years and frequently assists with Jay's patients. I heard one of the nurses mention that Jay is performing an emergency surgery and wasn't able to come. I'm relieved that he wasn't able to rush here. Honestly, I think all of this is a bit excessive, but they must know something I don't to be acting this way. Dr. Moran moves her stethoscope away from my chest and wraps it over her shoulders. Okay. Thankfully, that fall didn't do too much damage. Though, I do recommend you rest the remainder of the She's day. She's so pretty. Thank you, Dr. Moran. You should be more careful with your body. Otherwise, Dr. Hartman will worry unnecessarily. My shoulders scrunch up at her admonishment. I wanted to say that it wasn't completely my fault, but that would be childish. Yeah, I think the art style, they've managed to do a very, like, anime-fied look, which I think is a lot of people's preference. Um, I was talking to my friend who, you know, is, uh, I think, I don't know, what is she? She's the, the person that 
is like outreach and you know that sort of thing and uh she was saying that the otome games that don't have the sort of shoujo anime type art style often have a harder time getting like a successful kickstarter campaign fund that's what she said so i think art is something that people care a lot about especially it can't just be good it has to be like in a japanese style though i have also heard that costs a lot more Look at me collecting information, things that I don't need to use, but just stays up here for no reason. <laughs> I found out who was the sprite artist for this game. Oh, you have? Hi, Vince Writer. Welcome. Thanks for coming and saying hi. <laughs> Hopefully your class will be a good one. Mom, can we date you? I know, right, Kikili? <laughs> So, I believe the main character is in the hospital for some, like, heart reason. I, I think she has a heart problem, I'm not sure. Well, that's the thing, people want their anime-like characters. I know, I'm sorry. As soon as Dr. Moran and the nurses leave, I let myself sigh. Well, the walk was fun while it lasted. I'm back in the cell. Almost immediately, the door opens again. Are they here for more checkups already? I hope it isn't Jay. I don't want him rushing here because of my mistake. Meanwhile, my favourite Otome game is College Craze, which is a very Western <laughs> art style. I don't care. That game is, like, up here. I have not come across anything. So, it's the fact that the choice is matter in every way like it's not just oh if you pick several of these choices you get this ending it's you made this decision a couple of like chapters down oh no look what's happened because of that decision you made ages ago like oh it's so good <laughs> with the sprite art oh right okay <laughs> no worries Varga. heart problem one that can be fixed with the power of love <laughs> I think so, God, if I really hope so. It's Will. Oh, oh, is this a childhood friend trope? Relief floods over me when I when seeing my childhood friend and well, best friend. Hey, Trouble. You just love that nickname, don't you? <laughs> well, I mean, I think it's pretty accurate. He playfully pokes me on the forehead. I smirk at him and poke him in the stomach. You're the troublemaker. You're also here earlier than usual. Did your class get cancelled? Class let out early. I think our professor has a date or something. So I figured I would come by and see you. Oh, this is so... Oh, it's a childhood friend trope. I, I, I love that trope. I don't know. There's just something so bittersweet. I think it's just bittersweetness that I like in Otome games. And childhood friends often come with that. Oh, the sprite faces in College Craze is iconic. This has so much character. I love it so much. No, I have not voice acted in a game. I can imagine that being quite an interesting experience, though. Right? I mean, a couple of my friends don't like childhood friend trope because I guess it r sort of reminds them of bad experiences, that sort of thing. But, like, it, it, I, I like it. <laughs> I won't complain about that. How are you feeling? Practically perfect in every single way. Well, you better not fly away when the winds change. You can't leave me to suffer through all this homework by myself. I laugh at this and look down at the textbook in his hand. It's his English book. Ah, Creative Writing 101. Should be bored out of my mind 101. Having trouble? Yes! And you are going to help me, Miss Ace, this course last semester. Aww. I know, Luna. I was thinking that, like, ho hopefully she's okay and she doesn't die. But, like, my heart hurts just thinking about the fact that she's got this illness. And Solri Le had not heard about them before. Oh, okay. Well, the art style is very pretty. I like it. Oh, fancy, that is so true. They often have a yandere lurking. Love it. Oh, Uli. 
I wonder why that is. It's quite rare to come up, uh, come across uh, high school sweethearts. Um, one of my good friends um, has been with his yeah high school sweetheart, and they got married last year, and now they're about to have a kid. It's really cute, but it's it's not common. Big bad boy, sad boy person. Alan from Gyu Yang. Saint jo oh, okay. I'll taste the line, Kekeli. <laughs> You're probably also like Yosuga from Olympia Soiree. Yeah. Annoys me because most of the time MC is oblivious when it's so. True. That is true. <laughs> that is true, Yusu. <laughs> it's funny. I find myself laughing again. Fine, fine, but only if you help me with calculus. <laughs> sure. Calculus is easy. <laughs> Dying inside of trying to get I love that. It's so true though, that's what that's what like my brain goes. Which one? What's the dodgy one? <laughs> I think Annabelle is the same way. When they were still in the high school. <laughs> I love it how you're like Insanity. <laughs> oh, you like Yosuga too? Okay, I thought so. Judging by the, the, your lineup, I was like, I think you'd like Yosuga too. <laughs> Second handle. This making up worlds and stories every two weeks with minimum word counts and a minimum amount of characters is exhausting. Oh my, my will is very energetic. I'd rather do four calculus courses at once than continue this class. I think you're the only person who thinks that. Doubt it. Fine. How about this? Let's trade homework assignments. You do my calculus, I'll do your writing ass assignment. Deal. Oh, if I have to think of one more character backstory, my head is going to explode. I laugh again and hand over my laptop. Will sits down in the chair next to me and opens it up. Rather than focusing on the screen, his gaze finds mine. I know that look, the look that can see straight through me. Seriously though, how are you feeling? Ah, oh, I don't know why, but that that kind of I love it when they kind of break their jokey exterior and then they go in serious mode. There's just something about it. Oh, I like Colin Malice too. That's a good game. I need to replay that. I keep on thinking I need to replay it. I told you I'm fine. Mira, I visit you every single day. I know when you're having a good day and when you're having a bad one. What's wrong? Is the nurse bullying you again? Are you stressed about this calculus course? No, I'm not having anyone bully me. I'm fine, really. Then, is it your parents? It's natural that he would think that. After all, the third anniversary of their de death was a week ago. It's ironic that I may be. Nope, I don't need to think about that. I just need to enjoy my time. I don't want to tell Will that I'm worried about my health, or that Jay has ruffled my hair twice, or that the nurses are looking stiff and worried. I don't want him to worry about me. I don't want to cause him the same pain that I experienced. I can't hardly hide anything from you, can I? Considering you are a huge part of my world, I'd say no. Honestly, I'm a little sad. I think it's impossible to stop missing your parents, but I'll be okay. Fancy, you just can't stop thinking about the Sherlock Holmes. <laughs> I love that. Will is sweet, and he's dedicated, yeah. Someday when you get discharged from the hospital, we'll go visit your parents. How's that sound? That, that sounds great. Thank you, Will. And I'm sorry for not being honest with you. This part I say as a silent prayer as if to ease my own conscience. I look out towards the window to try to keep from crying. I think within myself. I know that I'm not going to get good news, and soon... Oh, ominous dark screen. Will had to leave for football practice a little while later. 
I sit in the room looking out the window, just like every day I'm watching the world go by without me. Good afternoon, Lily. Oh, Tamaki. He's kind of cute. Long hair. Who was it that likes long hair here apart from me? <laughs> Tamaki. I wasn't expecting to see you today. Did you have last minute deliveries? Something like that. The hand he was hiding behind his back appears along with a beautiful bouquet of flowers. He's got a little bunny. Just a little something to brighten your day. They are beautiful. Thank you so much, Tamaki. I take the flowers in my hands and smell them. Bro, I don't know if I'm getting out of the hospital. <laughs> don't want to leave the hospital because we're surrounded by ikemens. There's just something about long hair. Their sweet, gentle aroma instantly calms me. You didn't come here just to give me these, did you? Uh, is that wrong? I can't stop myself from smiling. And he's got a little bunny thing on his... Oh, what is that? It's so cute. <laughs> It's funny because uh, <laughs> in real life, I'd be like, why has he got a bunny on his like top? What is that? But in Atomic Games, I'm like, <laughs> the difference. <laughs> I'm guessing this meant long. We <laughs> that not yet. Not wrong, but if you keep bringing me flowers all the time, I'll get spoiled. I'm okay with that. <laughs> you need to. Does it need to be neat long hair? I remember, was it you that didn't like Shiraishi's hair? I think I've come across a couple of people who wasn't so uh, keen on Shiraishi's hair from Colin Malice because it's quite like scraggly. That bunny, yeah, the bunny apron is like, oh. You say that now, but you may regret it. <laughs> I'll take my chances. I've known Tamaki for three years. He's a florist who makes frequent deliveries to the hospital. Consequently, we met because of my parents. I still remember the bouquet that he delivered to me after they passed away. <laughs> the fact that you're like, this, this guy's a florist. <laughs> he doesn't care. Yeah, and he has his little cat like pins, which is adorable. Deep purple irises melded with queen of the night tulips. Baby's breath sprouted amidst the dark arrangement, giving it a gentle softness. It was beautiful, so beautiful, that I broke down crying right in front of him. I thought I had scared him away with my outburst, but ever since then he surprises me with flowers. Hi Janine! So this is an English indie Otome game, so the voice acting is all in English because yeah, it's just it's an English one, so that's why. It wasn't it wasn't originally in Japanese and then localized like a lot of the console ones are. There we go, Kelly explained it. <laughs> Respectable artsy fartsy guy, that's just me. <laughs> you can't... <laughs> that's funny. I'm just not keen on most LI long hair because they have weird haircut that fight physics. <laughs> what like in a Final Fantasy with the with the always oh, gravity defying. <laughs> I can't stay for too long. I know, you're a busy man. You know, you don't have to come by here if it's too much trouble. I don't want to be a burden to you. Lily, I come here because I want to see you. You are not, nor will you ever be, a burden. Wait, I thought she was called Mira. Maybe, maybe they changed names hot, like through the... You're really kind, Tamaki. I'm just... Tamaki looks down at his phone for a moment. Now I'm curious why he called her Lily. Interesting. Uh, I've got some work that I need to take care of. Oh, okay. I don't want him to leave yet. I don't want to be alone again, but I can't be selfish. 
I give him a smile and cuddle the flowers closer to my chest. Thanks for coming by when you're so busy. Have a great rest of the day and be safe. <sighs> you haven't seen the last of me. I'll be back later this afternoon to visit you. Oh, what's that pause? Fighting gravity with my hair that I've tried so many glues and from <laughs> <laughs> oh dear. What? Tamaki, you don't have to do that. I want to talk a little more. You're not looking like my usual cheerful girl. If you're a fan of um, English voice acting, another one that recently came out is called Bell Automata. Let me. I've done a let's play of it, but in case you can't find it. There we go. I like the men's physics defying hair, but I get jealous of the MCs for that. I need a Tommy hair. <laughs> Garden renamed her Lily because she made me That's what I was thinking, Elisu. Is it really that obvious? Yes. I guess I'm not able to hide it as well as I thought. Not many people can hide things from me, especially those I care about. I'll be back to see you before visiting hours are over. Okay, thank you, Tamaki. He gives me a gentle smile and leaves the room. After Tamaki left, the nurses came and took me for some heart scans. Oh no, the sad music is going to get me. I tried to ignore how tense they looked, but now that I'm alone, it's hard to do. I look out my window and see people walking by. They all have their own lives, their own adventures. I wish I could be free to do the same. He did this. He got, gave her a bouquet right at the beginning. <laughs> Miss Lovingston? Lovingston? He never calls me by my last name. Two other doctors enter the- oh my god, so we've got three doctors? Ah, uh, that's why he was being formal. Their faces are stoic and grim, a look I've seen many times but towards other patients. Oh god, I know, Luna. It's never a good sign. Dr. Hartman? Is everything okay? Miss Lovingston, I'm afraid we have some rather troubling news. Oh, oh, this is gonna be horrible. I take a deep breath to prepare myself. These conversations never end well. Your heart is not functioning at full capacity any longer. It's shutting down. Okay, Ivy Lou, well thank you for coming by and hopefully you have a good rest of the day. See ya! Hey, you can't just say... It's okay. I'd rather hear it as black and white as possible. Honestly, I'm terrified to know, but nothing is going to change the fact. My heart is shutting down? Yes. So, what are my options? At this point, a heart transplant is the only option. <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god. Oh no, okay. I kind of half expected it, but also didn't want this to be the case. My heart is too <laughs> really soon. But yeah, no, it's already, it starts with angst. The good news is that we have received a match for you, so we will be able to do the transplant. Which is pretty lucky. How much time do I have? For the procedure to have any chance of success, we would need to perform the surgery in the next month. And even then it would be very risky. My chances of survival? Oh. Oh god. Oh, this is heavy. A palpable silence hangs in the air. 20%. His words weigh heavily on me as I try my best to process everything. 
It is a very risky surgery, but without it, you have six months at most to live. We came here today to get your consent. Oh, this got heavy so quickly. <laughs> like, oh man. Like Windows, where it's gonna. Yeah, where you know that the update's gonna be okay, type of thing. Why do I have a feeling or assumption that one of the allies' heart is going to be hers when she does the job? Oh god, Luna, don't say that! Don't say that! Oh, that would be terrible! My consent? The tone of my voice betrays my emotionless exterior. It's filled with sadness and desperation. It hurts. I feel like I want to cry, but I manage to hold it in. My gaze is drawn to the world outside my window. Only a 20% chance to live. Very well, you have my consent. On one condition. I have lived most of my life in rooms like this one. I haven't experienced many things. So for this month, I want to live my dream. I want as much freedom as you can possibly give me. Oh, this is this. It just starts off already emotional, doesn't it? Everyone is silent. As I thought, it's too much to ask. Very well, Miss Livingston. Think about what you want to do, and then let us know. We will try to accommodate you as best we can. I feel like it's the 20% chance of success in the surgery rather than it working. I think. I'm not sure. You'll lie in April? I haven't come across that before. Is that... What is that? Really? Thank you so much. Deep down, I know why they're allowing me to leave, but I'm still relieved. With that, the doctors turn and leave. Only Jay stays with me. Hey, you'll be okay. I'm not going to let anything bad happen to you. Though his voice is comforting, I can see the waves of turmoil in his eyes. More than likely, I won't be okay, but... Yeah, you're right. I'll be okay. Thanks, Jay. He ruffles my hair again, further confirming my thoughts. Jay only ruffles my hair when he's trying his best to hide how bad it actually is. Get some rest. It sounds like you have a month of crazy adventures ahead of you. That I do. I force a smile as Jay walks out of the room. Oh, I see. So it's so it, mu it must be really sad then. <laughs> Fancy! <laughs> Are you being hopeful too? Once alone, I let my smile drop. 20% chance of success. That's with the donor heart. I curl up in a ball and grab the picture of my parents. Mum? Dad? I may be seeing you soon. Oh god. That's possible, she might like hide the fact that this is the case. She might she was, might look for like a short summer romance, as you can call it. But then they end it ends up being serious and oh no type of thing. I feel blank, almost like all of this isn't really happening to me. If I only have one month, one month to do something I've always dreamed of, then I need to make up my mind. What is it that I want to do? Say here for quicker that is okay, cool, let's do that then. I will say here. Okay, so... Fall in love, aw. Um... Live a normal life. Travel. Share my story. Have an adventure. 
or fall in love. That sounds like such a pretty, sort of like beautiful story. It's a beauty fancy, you can't stop thinking. <laughs> I love that so much. And their dog would definitely go find a match and stab them. Oh god, imagine! That's the thing, I'm trying to think. I wonder what the adventure will be. Will that be the idol? But maybe that's the travel. True. <laughs> it's, it's so true. Fancy holds on to it. I see, I see where you guys are coming from with the travel and adventure, but I'm also like, aren't they all a love story? I don't know. Because none of them really like, sort of, um, what you call it, none of them really shout out to me in like a, this one's that love interest kind of way. Hmm. Because you've got the doctor, you've got the florist, you've got the childhood friend, you've got the idol. On oh, the millionaire. That's true, actually, Tsukuyomi. I kind of want the idol or the millionaire, because the millionaire has, like, his voice acting is quite funny. And the idol... I don't know, I'm just... I feel like the, the dodgy guy that bumps into you and is an ass is probably uh, the idol. Yes, we did save. I'm going to pick... I'm going to pick Travel. I think. Of oh, have an adventure. Have a travel. That's true, Liz. Okay, let's go with that one then. I think it would be either the idol or the millionaire. That's that's what I'm hoping. Oh, there we go. We got the millionaire. I can giggle at his voice acting. <laughs> I'm going to die. That's probably what is going to happen to me. This reality is so painful to face. I don't want to face it. I want to escape. Even though I told Jay that I wanted to live out my dream, is it possible for me to? I reach into my bedside table drawer and bring out the album. It's something that I haven't touched since my parents died. The world awaits. My fingers brush over the slight dust-covered hand-drawn binder. Well done, team. <laughs> what are you making there, pumpkin? Dr. Braven told me that it would be good to make plans for my future. It gives me something to look forward to and think about. Plans for the future? Hi, Bunny. Welcome. <laughs> I'm glad you're having fun lurking. I think that's a very smart idea. Did you draw this cover yourself? I wanted to make it personal. I know I probably could have edited something on my laptop, but... Yes, yeah, Sparga, that's basically what's gonna happen. We had some options, but we decided to go with travel because we're like, that could be millionaire or idol. And yeah, it was, it was correct. <laughs> Mum hugs me closely. I think it looks perfect. When I'm better, these are the places that I want to go as a family. Well, don't leave me in suspense. Show me. 
Yeah, I want to know where we're going on vacation. Will it have good food? Every place we go will have amazing food. I'll make sure of that. That's my girl. I open the binder. On the first page is a college of white, collage of white sandy beaches, luau's, pineapple farms, and beautiful restaurants with a view of the ocean. This was the first place I was going to go with my parents, Hawaii. Visiting there feels like a fairy tale now. I don't even know how I would get there or what I would do. Hi, Owen Grincon, and yes, this is Glass Heart. Most of my parents' money has gone towards medical bills. No, it's not Glass Heart Princess, but just Glass Heart. So Glass Heart is by an indie developer. I think Glass Heart Princess is like more of a mainstream Japanese game, isn't it? Let me have a look. Glass Heart Princess. I think. I could be wrong. Yeah, Glass Heart Princess is a Japanese Otome game, so it's 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 not this one. Just just for clarification. Plus, I've never even travelled, and I doubt Jay would let me go by myself anyways. Still, if I'm going to see my parents soon, then I want to tell them that I lived a little, that I experienced something great in my life. There has to be some way. Oh, you must be talking about Nathan Realton. All of the nurses were talking about him. Really? Yes, apparently his company is affiliated with our hospital. I'm not sure how, but they have connections way up the chain of command. Hi Rose Lover, you're an hour late. We just finished the common route, which is basically what you see on the summary of the game, which is she's got a heart problem, she's got a month until her transplant, and we're like, okay, what do we do for that month? So that's that's kind of what you miss. So not really that much. <laughs> Grand is different, different. Yeah, it's it's a different game, that's why. Nathan Realton. <laughs> Fancy, you're so blunt. <laughs> it's a long shot, but I take out my laptop and type in his name. Instantly, articles upon articles of information show up. Are you eligible for a dream come true? I click on the article and begin to read. Apparently, you have to be in one of the affiliated hospitals' care in order to qualify. Okay, so it's quite it's not it's quite a common name then. Yes, exactly, you made it and that's what counts. <laughs> Why do you have to be in the hospital? I scroll down and see a comment from Mr. Rilton himself. Many people ask me why I'm only allowing individuals who are hospitalized to qualify for this dream come true. The reason is simple. I want to bring joy to that person's life. I want to help them create memories that they never thought possible. I want to show them that living is worth fighting for. Living is worth fighting for? I feel like I never really experienced living. She can apply it! Yes! I love that! If I get this chance, would it give me the strength to get through the surgery? I click on the link to the submissions. I only have 10 minutes before the deadline. I quickly start to type my story and enter in my information. I nearly have everything finished, the only thing left is a picture. I don't have many of those and most are in the hospital gown. I look down at my summary page. If I'm going to enter this contest and I want my story to speak for itself, it doesn't matter what I look like. With 30 seconds left, I click the submit button. Ooh, 30 seconds left, that is cutting it close. <laughs> Gekeli, I love that. Here's to fighting for my dream. Nathan point of view. Oh, okay. So we get point of view. That's cool. I flip through the documents that I was given. There, there are, are many, many applicants, oh. many submissions, many decent candidates and yet my gaze lands on a certain name 
Unlike some, which are pictures showcasing that decrepit state, no photo is left blank. Why wouldn't they post a picture? Uh, it's probably a meddling nurse with a kind heart. Oh, she didn't put a picture down. That's kind of cute. I read through her basic information and a summary of her situation. Mira. Heart failure. Surgery scheduled for next month. Less than a 20% chance to live. And she's so young. She'd be perfect. I know, right? This, so this handsome guy is the route which we're going down. Placing a file on the table, I bring out my phone. It's me. I found our lucky winner. A young patient at Wellston Memorial Hospital. Her chance of survival is under 20%. <laughs> I love it how you're like, a rich man. <laughs> no, she doesn't have a picture, but I'm sure it will be fine. After all, we aren't looking for a model, but a real person. Is he supposed to sound English, maybe? I agree. It couldn't get much better than this. Get everything prepared. This project is a go. I hang up the phone without another word and sip on my glass of chateau. I'm about to make your dreams come true, Miss Lovingston. Gotta get that back. Oh, a few. The hospital seems to be bustling with even more activity than usual. I wonder what's going on. Yeah, I, I, it probably is like a publicity stunt, if anything. Oh no, it's Giovi. You're like, oh, I don't like this guy. <laughs> <laughs> I reckon he's gonna be one of those like heartless characters, which we then melt his heart with our cuteness. <laughs> As if answering my unspoken question, the room to my door swings open. That's Miss La Mr. Rilton? Oh, this is cute. How do I how do I hide this? I want to I want to hide this. Can I? Oh, okay. Oops. <laughs> That's so cute. Um, are you Mr. Rilton? Oh my God, is this love at first heart? Love at first sight? Because if it is my heart, I love that sort of thing. I love it how we all want a Yandere like <laughs> making me laugh. The music's in this game very much. I like the music too, it's pretty. <laughs> Varga, I think I think it's a bad influence of mine. Um basically Yandere is like one of my favourite tropes. <laughs> I the the more hidden it is, the better. So if a guy seems like really perfect and then turns out to be like super dodgy, it's like, yes. <laughs> well, that's what I thought, but age doesn't seem to work. No, that doesn't work. Oh, what have I done? I've done something. <laughs> Oh no, what have I done? What have I done, guys? It was so perfect a minute ago. There we go. Age doesn't work for some reason. I thought this would show like the... Hang on a sec, let me save quickly. And then... Go to the title screen. Extra. 
Tetris? Oh, what have I done? Oh, there we go. Okay, so I guess we'll just have to look at them in photos later. Like in memories or something. Hmm. Also, I'm like, who's this? <laughs> oh well. We'll just, we'll just, like, look at them later at the end. Right click. Yeah, I can try that. Oh! A right click causes this to happen. Anyway, I'll just continue. Receive that visit in the hospital, I will die from that view. <laughs> This adrenaline is adrenaline, whether he's leaning in for a surprise kiss or trying to kill me, the feeling is the same. <laughs> it's a document. <laughs> I love that. Space doesn't seem to work. Right click made settings appear. Let's take think tomatoes are cute. We'll just have to look at the memories later, that's fine. I'm sure there's a way, I just don't know it. Uh, um, yes, I, uh, <clears throat> I, uh, <laughs> are you Miss Lovingston? Uh, I yeah. am. It feels like I'm trapped in his gaze. There's this tension between us. It's something that I've never felt before, but it doesn't feel bad and I don't want it to stop. <sighs> Well, thank you for visiting me. May I ask what you're here for? Is it because of my submission? <coughs> Why is he, like, blushing? What is this? He seems to compose himself and the intensity between us subsides slightly. It's so cute. I feel like it was love at first sight. Oh, I love it. <laughs> Have me a loving fiancé of ten years who is the best boyfriend in the world, so I gotta... Get my kicks in fiction. <laughs> I love that. That's true. Like, my boyfriend in real is, like, so caring and gentle and all the things I could wish for. So in Atomic Games, I go for the trash people who I would never go for. But it's fun watching them and, like, the main character. It's just funny. It's so juicy. <laughs> Again, you are correct. He walks close to me and it's almost like I'm being pulled in his direction. I feel like I'm fighting against my own body to keep myself from leaning toward him. I was wondering where you were, Adabani. I was like, oh, she's probably lurking or, you know. <laughs> um, but yeah, so we basically had options to pick. We picked we'd like to travel and then we were going down his route, which is why I think we won the, like, competition lottery thing. Miss Lovingston, I'm here to make your dreams come true. I do lie to find a fake accent hilarious, so like, I think English accents seem to be really difficult for people to nail. It's, I don't really hear a, a sort of accurate one from someone who isn't English. Not that I've heard many voice actors, but that's just how I feel from the ones that I've heard. But that's why it makes it funny. <laughs> I like it. You... you chose me? I know that it is a stupid question to ask, but I can't believe that this is reality. He actually chose my story. He is choosing to give me a chance to live out my dream. Yes, Miss Lovingston. I chose you. <laughs> I'm sure you're not a jerk, <laughs> He sits down in the chair next to me. <laughs> See you killing me with your like observation. I don't know. I see both. I can see him as both a millionaire and as a butler. <laughs> you kill me though. <laughs> you're, gonna, you're gonna give me a vanch, Oh my god. Any game where my choices lead me to a person rather than choosing directly, I always fall for the crazy. <laughs> Oh dear me. 
That's funny. Proper King's English BBC pronunciation accent. You added proper at the beginning, which which automatically ruins the King's English BBC part. <laughs> Pikachu. <laughs> I could never begin to fathom what you have endured with your health. You are such a strong person to overcome the obstacles that you have faced. Your story has moved me, and it has made me wish for nothing more than to pamper you. Tell me, what is your dream? Mr. Rilton, honestly, I don't- I didn't think you would choose me. I'm- I'm honoured. <laughs> my dream is to visit the places that I never was able to see with my parents. If it's possible, I would like to go to at least one place before my surgery, just in case I don't... I can't finish my sentence and look down at my hands. I feel a gentle touch on my shoulder. I'll make it happen. Where do you want to go? Hawaii, if possible. Hawaii? He seems surprised. Is that too much trouble? <laughs> Quite the contrary. Compared to Bora Bora or Fiji, Hawaii <laughs> seems a bit simple. Are you sure that is where you want to go? It's, he probably thought, huh? <laughs> He's gone for a bit because the hospital stuff was just a bit upsetting. Oh no! Okay, let's not let's not think about the hospital stuff. We'll just focus on this pretty pretty boy. <laughs> Why rich but not extravagant clothes? No one can judge you when you're rich. He's British. Extravagant means, you know, you play it down and you wear what your ancestors wore. <laughs> I don't know. I'm just making stuff up. <laughs> Rose lover. Everyone, I swear everyone is hating on this guy. A crown. <laughs> oh my god, you're all so mean. <laughs> I'm not looking for anything extravagant, Mr. Rilton. Hawaii is a place that I've always dreamed of seeing. If you could make that wish a reality for me, then I think I'd be the happiest girl alive. I think he's used to listening to some, like, like people say, really expensive things, rather than something that would be doable were you, you know, earning maybe an average salary, that sort of thing, and, like, save up for a couple of years. <laughs> Well then, I would say that is my top priority. Do we have your medical consent, Dr. Hartman? <laughs> Old money people wear boring stuff. <laughs> oh, dear me. Oh, there's a diary up here. <gasps> oh, this is interesting. He's my age. Exciting and anxious about what future holds. All I know is that now a dream of mine is coming true. Thanks to Mr. Rita, I'm ready to explore some Oh, that's cute. Jay? I was so enamored by Mr. Rilton that I hadn't noticed him in the room. Yes, it's possible. However, there are some conditions. So I can only, at the moment, I can only think of Bell or Tomata because I haven't tried enough English, Indie, or Tommy games to be able to. But if anyone in the chat right now knows a bunch, then feel free to, you know, type it down so that Janine can see. Yeah, usually with the rich lover, it's like the the rich guy's eyes are open to how world actually works. <laughs> the rich guy and his even his wife's atomic. <laughs> Al Rincon, you like the doctor, don't you? <laughs> Due to her current state, you must limit air travel to a minimum. There can be no strenuous physical activities, and a cardiologist must be with you at all times. Oh, dear me. Cardiologist? I feel my heart sink. I know Jay is too busy to take off and come with me. 
All of the other doctors at Wellston Memorial also have their own obligations. Uh, I expected as much and have made arrangements with one of the best cardiologists in the business, Dr. Robert Kleiner. He'll be accompanying us for the duration of our trip. <laughs> Mara, do you not like the doctor? M McDoctor, you would be more noticeable if you weren't next to our team. <laughs> I say they're both on equal grounds, but that, that's funny. <laughs> Jay nods his head in acknowledgement. I also would like you to limit your trip to two weeks. I realize that this isn't the full month that you are wanting, but due to the strain of travel, I think it's best to err on the side of caution. I understand. Two weeks is plenty of time. Thank you, Jay. Anything for you. Well, I'll leave you both to discuss the arrangements. I have to finish my rounds. Thank you, Dr. Hartman. With that, Jay leaves the room. A short, but not awkward, silence follows the door closing. There's something about the feeling between us. Something like electricity. That's... When... We both start talking at the same time. <laughs> Sorry, you go first. No, oh, please. It's rude for a gentleman to interrupt a lady. A lady? I feel my cheeks want to blush, uh, want to flush at being called a lady. Um, when, when do we leave? Well, we have a few forms that will need to be signed, and we will need to receive written consent from Doctor Hartman. The idol was a redhead, if I remember correctly. It really seems like all the guys in love with her already. <laughs> she releases like the the power of Otome Hiroin. <laughs> Dr. Hotman. <laughs> oh dear. But I estimate we could be on a plane to Hawaii by tomorrow afternoon. That fast? Is it too soon? No, not at all. I'm just surprised that everything can be arranged so quickly. <laughs> it's part of the course for a businessman to plan last minute trips. I know, right? I like him when he's blushing. He looks like... It looks... It's like the way he wants to be perceived versus the way he actually is. That's how I see it. I see. Now, I think we should get the legal side out of the way so that we can begin planning the more enjoyable part. What's wrong with the name Nathan? <gasps> Legal side? Yes, there are a few forms that will need to be signed before we can go on our journey. They are primarily liability forms and standard paperwork as we prepare for the travels. Fancy, <laughs> you can't stop thinking about Sherlock. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Do you have a private jet, my good sir? <laughs> Jerks are sarcastic, and then why do you- <laughs> Ooh, Shellbell, welcome! And yes, he does, it's really cute, because it's like, I don't know, it's the gap. He takes out his briefcase and places an overwhelming stack of papers on my movable table. He then rolls it over to me and gives me a pen. I realise that it may seem overwhelming, however, I assure you, it isn't as bad as it looks. I will direct you on where to sign. Yeah, you should play this game, Shelley. It's uh, it's voiced, which I think is pretty cool for an indie, especially. Um, and um, yeah, I think recently they released more of it or something, which is why I'm playing it right now. <laughs> I love that. You're like, I like that name. I'm going to name my son that. <laughs> Okay, thank you. I mean, I, I think I should read it, really. Why would you decline it? I take a small breath and pick up the first page. Oh, why is it not working? Oh, there we go. I start to read it when Nathan places his hand on my shoulder. Are you intending to read this entire contract before signing? 
Yes, it's the only way to know what I'm agreeing to. <laughs> You're a smart woman. However, I assure you that I mean you no ill will. Yeah, but that's what they all say. <laughs> I'm afraid of it, especially in this situation. <laughs> You're me. <laughs> Basically, this agreement says that if something were to happen to you, such as a heart attack in your case, and you should perish under our care, we are not held liable, and family members will not be able to sue us. Oh my god, Jesus. Like, I get it, but also, damn. It's to protect myself and those who work under me. At least he's honest about it. But still, I don't have anyone who could sue you, so is this really necessary to sign? I'm afraid it is. We never know what extended family will come out of hiding if given the opportunity for a lawsuit. I love it. You're like, I bet, yeah, I knew it. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, dear me. As a business owner, it is my responsibility to protect my people. And please understand this and try not to take offense. Yeah, it makes sense, but the way he said it, like, oh, okay. I look back down at the contract and let out a small sigh. It's merely a precaution. I will do everything in my power to keep you safe during our adventure. I look up and into his light green eyes. Can I trust this man? They say that eyes are the window to your soul. When I look into his eyes, I see kindness and gentleness. Then, Mr. Rilton, where do I need to sign? He smiles and begins to point out all of the places that I need to initial and place my signature. As someone who works in HR, I get it, my man. <laughs> oh dear. This joke won't my ghost. I love that. That's good, that's good. After a few minutes, I have completed the agreement. Thank you so much, Miss Lavingston. I will have my secretary make a copy of these documents for your records. He places the contract back in his briefcase before turning his full attention back to me. Miss Lavingston, I apologize if this is too straightforward. However, I noticed that you did not place a picture on your submission. May I ask the reason why? Are you averse to being photographed? It's not that I'm against it. I just don't have many pictures of myself, and I wanted my story to speak for itself. And not be influenced by my physical state. I'm too embarrassed to voice that last part. I see. I can understand that sentiment. However, if the reason is because you felt that you were not beautiful, I would have to scold you. Oh, even if those you don't mean that, it's still cute. <laughs> Mr. Rilton, you don't do not need to flatter me. I'm not flattering you. Then you are too kind. I know I'm not the prettiest woman. I'm sick and weak. It shows my on my body and on my face. It's okay though, I've come to terms with it. Miss Lavingston, this just will not do at all. <laughs> Sorry, but it's in this accent. I don't know. I don't know why. It's it's decent, but for some reason it makes me laugh. I think it's just any, and this isn't just this voice actor, just any voice actor when they do an English accent. I don't know why it makes me laugh. <laughs> it just, I don't know what it is. <laughs> it does make sense, even if it is sus. I suppose since she's really sick, it might be worth the risk for a great meat trip. Surprised I didn't see about this game before. It looks so good. I saw it on my Twitter a little bit, but I only knew 
like, because I think one of my followers mentioned it, and also, um, yeah, they contacted me, so. Oh, yeah, he's definitely going to use this as PR. <laughs> yes, it's available on Steam. Huh? Nathan takes out a camera and points it towards me. Oh, okay. Oh, oh, we got a picture taken. I hear a soft click. Oh my god, what? Liz, that's true. He totally fell for her the moment he saw her. That scene. He comes over next to me and shows me the picture. As I thought, I look sick and weak. You look beautiful. Oh, if this happened in real, I'd be like, go away. But because it's an Otome game, it's cute. His smile is so gentle. Miss Levingston, you better prepare yourself. For the duration of our journey, I will be videoing and photographing our moments together. Oh, he's going to come with us. I'm going to prove to you that you are beautiful. I know he's probably just being nice, but I can't help but smile. I hear another shot of the camera. I think this smile would capture just about anyone's heart. I can't stop myself from blushing, even if I don't believe his words. <laughs> I apologize. <laughs> Was I thing. too forward just now? It's just it's the fact that he got out like a massive camera. It's not even like a phone, you know? It's like, ah, and take a photo. <laughs> oh God, it's funny. He puts his camera away. Well, now that the legal matters are taken care of, shall we get to the fun part? He sounds like a 40 year old. But we do love Adil, to be fair. What do you want to do in Hawaii? Are there any reservations or tickets that you would like for me to get in advance? No, I don't think I need anything like that. Then may I ask what you are wanting to experience while we are there? Other bunny. <laughs> I think back to my binder. I want to see the ocean, eat at the restaurant by the beach, and see a luau. Then I will get the arrangements made. If you think of anything else, please let me know. Thank you, Mr. Rilton. <laughs> please, call me Nathan. Uh, okay, Nathan. Um, you can call me Mira. I'm honored. Unfortunately, the gentleman in me would never allow myself to call a beautiful young woman by her first name until we've become more acquainted. <laughs> what is this guy? Just come with him. <laughs> oh, this is funny. Put we in my mouth. <laughs> You don't like it. Oh, I. Oh, you're one of the rare ones, Fancy. Oh, that's it. You like gilfs. That's why you don't. I'm joking. I'm joking. <laughs> Camera bulge in his suit. <laughs> He's going to give the MC a heart attack with all that flattery. Oh, dear. If I did, I'm sure my father would disown me. I'm not sure, actually. I, I don't actually know. I see. I feel a little sad by his response, but try not to let it show. I'm sure that you need rest. I'll be back here tomorrow to pick you up. So quick. Okay, sounds great. I'll see you then. Nathan gives me another gentle smile before leaving the room. I'm left in a daze. Is this reality or an incredible dream? Wait, in America, do you just randomly call people by their first name? I mean, in England, we call people by whatever they introduce themselves as.
<laughs> As someone who's 28, if he's a DILF, that makes me old. <laughs> I don't want to see myself. I don't think 28 is that old. I close the door and begin walking down the hospital hallways. Everywhere I look, there are signs of illness and death. It's a stark contrast to being in that small room with her. Why is he the one handing the contract to me? <laughs> Fancy details, detail. <laughs> I mean, in England we do if that person introduced themselves with, like, by their first name. But they would refer to you as, like, your last name if you go to a hospital or something. Well, that's the thing. I think it's pretty similar, I think. I take a deep breath to try to calm my racing heart. What was that feeling? A stirring as soon as we made eye contact. I couldn't stop myself from approaching her. <laughs> so it's just English accents make me laugh. I'm not sure what is wrong with me. I lost all composure in that moment. As a man who has grown up around elites, I'm used to seeing beautiful women, but... Miss Lovingston... She is much more beautiful than I could have imagined. It's a beauty that's different from what I'm used to seeing. A beauty that I can't quite place. Never getting... You're kidding me. long since I've been anywhere that I'm not like because I my 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 bubble is so small it consists of my friends my parents the doctor's appointment and that's it just trying to think like huh Fancy, you're so suspicious. <laughs> we can sit with it. Oh, oh my god. I do use name for formal situations are really older sometimes, but we also have the vouvoiement. I don't know if I butchered that, but which is a polite you that we use for multiple people to all to be formal. Older crowns prefer the courtesy of title and last name, but most of the millennial generation prefer the informality of first names. <laughs> if someone called me Dr. Luli, I would be like, please don't call me that. <laughs> it would make me laugh. Oh, God. <laughs> this case right Oh no. Perhaps I allowed myself to become too enamored by her story. <laughs> it must be the artist in me. Regardless, that is something that I'm going to have to fix. I can't be messing this up with poor etiquette. I'm determined to make this perfect. Entering the limo, I pull out my phone and bring up the picture of her smiling. I can't stop myself from smiling when looking at her. <laughs> he is like in love. Radiant. <laughs> so you can't stop thinking about Sherlock outfit. How'd it go? My face stiffens when seeing the text from father. Me, meanwhile, me and my boyfriend would be like, I mean, technically, yeah, but no. <laughs> He's 
that's my call. I called one of the judges by her first name. Then when I was a lawyer in her courtroom, I had to go back to calling her judge. It was odd. Degree in Otome Games. <laughs> That'd be nice. <laughs> oh my god, Uli. That's actually true. It's basically your name, just with an L before it. But, you know, he is like in love with this girl. I love it though. I'm, I'm digging it. Of course he would want to know. This is the girl. She's even more beautiful in person and surprisingly spirited for someone in her condition. She has signed the contract and will be departing for Hawaii tomorrow. I'll be out of the office for two weeks. Nathan. Almost immediately, my phone dings. Don't mess this up. Locked. As always. Where to, Mr. Rilton? Back to my hotel. I need to make preparations for tomorrow. Right away, sir. I look up at the tall hospital building as the limo begins to roll forward, my eyes falling on the floor where Miss Lovingston's room is. If this plays out well, and I have a good feeling that it will, and the girl will receive some wonderful final days. Wait, Nathan's in an arranged marriage? Where'd you get that, Luna? And... It will be a success. Oh, okay. I was about to say. Hey, Zelda! Welcome! How have you been? I feel like it's been a while. Now, Mr. Nathan is remind me of Jumin from Mystic Messenger. I have a thing for silly, super rich men who have a deeper soul. <laughs> he does come across as silly rich man. Today's the day. I'm nervous as I sign the discharge papers. Honestly, I could hardly sleep last night. I kept packing and reorganizing my small amount of belongings into my luggage. I decide to bring my binder with me as well. I figured I could document my adventures as I go. I'm not sure what will happen to it, but if I do survive, I want to remember back on these moments. Fancy, what is this? Your imagination is going wild. And love for Miss Elizabeth. Elizabeth. Are you excited? For those who don't know, Miss Elizabeth is his cat. <laughs> Very. I bet. Getting to spend two weeks with a good-looking man like him? Oh, I'm jealous. <laughs> I'm jealous. <laughs> All right. The nurse fans herself playfully. He is really handsome and very kind. Don't forget rich. Yeah, that too. Though, I don't really care about that. The nurse then asks me the most ridiculous question, if I'm aiming to win his heart. <laughs> I nearly jump out of my bed when hearing this. What? Don't sound so surprised. It's the perfect opportunity to find love, isn't it? That's, that's not what I'm going on this trip for. Besides, Mr. Rilton would never want someone like me. Hey, don't sell yourself short. You are just as beautiful on the outside as you are on the inside. Even an elite man like Mr. Rilton would be able to see that. That was a cute voice line. Nurse has a priority to read. Nurse is a gold digger. When I was younger, I used to read fan fictions about Jubin. <laughs> so, Adabani, he really is your favorite then. Thanks. The nurse gives me a fist bump before turning to leave with the discharge papers. Oh! <laughs> Excuse me, Mr. Rilson. That was my mistake. I was careless. Please, after you. To be fair, yeah, I think the NPC nurse is actually, like, one of the better ones. Thank you. Like, I like listening to her voice act acting the most, I think. Um, Mr. Rilton's makes me laugh. I don't know. I, it, any English accent makes me laugh. The nurse scurries past him and he enters the room. Did he hear the conversation just now? Good morning, Miss Lovingston. Good morning. I guess, like, the artwork costs a lot more than 
the voice acting because that probably would have just been the same regardless. I don't know. Don't need to hurry, Potter. <laughs> Are you ready to begin our adventure? Yes, I just signed the discharge papers. All I need to do is get changed and I'll be ready to go. I go to grab one of my few outfits from my bag. Honestly, they're all about the same, so I just grab one at random. Miss Lovingston, if it would be okay, I would like to give you this. He holds out an elegant looking gift bag. It's not much, but I do hope that you like it. Mr. Rilton, you didn't have to get me anything. <laughs> I couldn't help myself. And please, call me Nathan. Please, call me Nathan. <laughs> I don't know why it makes me laugh so much. I remove the gift paper from the top of the bag and gasp. Inside is a beautiful pink dress with a vibrant butterfly pattern and some cute sandals that match perfectly with the dress. I look up at him. Can I try it on? <laughs> of course. It's yours after all. I quickly get out of bed and rush over to the bathroom. I strip myself free of the hospital gown and replace it with a smooth, silky dress. It takes me a minute to get the courage to look into the mirror, but with a little time I manage to do so. I look at my reflection and see a girl who is about to start living. I open the door and walk into my room. Nathan has a camera on the- This guy with the bloody camera, can he not like get it out of our face? God, Uli. Oh my god. Why does this kind of thing win me over every time? I don't know, but I get you. I get you, Tsukuyomi. I told you that I'm going to show you how beautiful you are. And believe me, you are beautiful. My chest swells with this unfamiliar warmth. Right now, I don't care if I'm being filmed. I don't even care if I look terrible on the video or picture. I can't stop myself from spinning in a circle and in allowing the dress to dance with me. And I wish I could hide this. It's something I've always done since I was a little girl when I feel happy. <laughs> oh. oh, I love it when they make little noises. Because they're surprised. Oh, she's so happy, my heart. Oh, this is so cute. I love it. You gotta take pics for the website. <laughs> Luna, on the other hand, is like, they're making memories together. <laughs> Nathan, this is perfect. Thank you so much. Nathan? Oh, forgive me. I, uh, I'm glad that you like it. It looks lovely on you. <laughs> I don't know why, but when he speaks, I can't help but laugh. There's just something about I think it's the English accent. It just makes me laugh. But I think this is adorable. I blush and give him the biggest smile. <laughs> Nathan puts his camera away, walks over, and extends his hand to me. Are you ready to escape this place? I take his hand. It's so much bigger than mine and so warm and alive. I've never been more ready. Then off we go. We leave my hospital room and Jay comes walking up to me. <laughs> Fancy, you are so skeptical. Maybe he just loved, like he just likes her, you know? We leave my hotel room and Jay comes walking up to me. Leaving already, I see. <laughs> Did he just sound Australian there? I swear he sound Australian there. Wait. Can we go back? No, I don't think we can. Well, I thought he sounded Australian for a moment. Yes, I know. Jay places his hands on both of my shoulders and looks at me with a mixed expression. Mira, enjoy your time. Make your dreams come true and make lots of memories. But please remember, do not push your body too hard. I will be careful. 
I wish I could go with you. The idea of you being so far away. Zolta, we don't need to think about how it works in real life. This is a Tomei world. It's all beautiful and sparkly. <laughs> when it tries to be and then very dark when it wants to be because well wow. <laughs> i know right you need to see what's fancy doing oh my god with that camera to be honest if my wife is ever accidentally in a photo i take of the cat i'm dead i'm dead <laughs> i love that i don't like photos being taken of me either it needs to be the right angle the right lighting the right clothes right like positioning everything has to be right otherwise i don't want the photo like delete it no no but i like but he's definitely my physical type i'm a sucker for dark hair and light eyes i do think he's very pretty to look at don't your body no sexy <laughs> oh my god oh dear I'm not gonna lie, I'm very excited for this game. Yeah, me too. It feels very like rom com. I love it. I'll be okay. It's only for two weeks, and I have a cardiologist with me. They will look after me. Right. Day's smile looked slightly strained before turning to Nathan. Mr. Wilton, I leave Mira in your care. Please take care of her. I assure you that she'll be well cared for. You have my word. I will hold you to that. There seems to be a tension between the two of them. It's not something that I'm used to feeling around Jay. Miss Lovingston, I don't mean to rush, but we should be leaving shortly if we want to make it to our destination at a proper hour. <laughs> we have a flight waiting for us. I take in a deep breath and hold my bag tightly to my chest. Okay, Jay, I'll be back in two weeks. Yeah, I'll see you then. Right? You need to... I hate it so much. I, I look at it, I'm like, I swear I'm not that bad. I swear I'm not that bad. <laughs> I hate it so much. I follow Nathan outside the hospital with Jay watching us go. A complex expression on his face. We arrive at the airport. There were multiple planes waiting on the tarmac, but not nearly as many people as I expected. I thought we had to go through all kinds of security before flying. That's only in a public airport. This is a private airport, owned by my father. Of course it's owned by your father. Private? Yes, we are going to be flying in one of my family's planes. It'll be easier to care for you that way. Of course it is. Oh, okay. This is so different from what I was imagining. You know what's funny? I feel like the main character would have preferred a public um, plane because she's never gotten to experience that. Bought some cosmetic stuff to three lip tints and some new washes and ooh, I like lip tints. They're handy. Yeah, it's not a private jet, it's a private airport. <laughs> we board the airplane and an older man with grey hair is waiting for us in one of the seats. He stands as... <laughs> I don't know what it is. It's just it's so <laughs> Oh, I hope he doesn't appear often. Oh god. Oh man. <laughs> That's Jay when he gets old. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> okay, okay. <laughs> 
I gotta calm down. Oh my god, I'm so glad I'm not drunk because if I was, I'd be like crying right now, like properly. <laughs> That's Jay when. That's Jay when he's old. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> okay, I gotta calm down. I've gotta calm down. <laughs> Okay, okay. Oh god, what is this? I'm sure I'll get used to it. I'm sure I'll get used to it. the contrast. Okay, right. Anyway. But remember guys, that's Jay when he's a grandpa. They got the same eyes and all. He stands as we enter into the plane. Mr. Rilton, it's nice to see you again. This must be Miss Lovingston. What? He produced <laughs> Oh, yes. no. Miss Lovingston, this is Dr. Kleiner. He'll be the one looking after your well being on of this trip. Of course he will. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> oh, not only does he look silly, but he's also quite <laughs> It's a pleasure oh, to meet you, Miss Lovingston. It's a pleasure to meet you too, Kleiner, Dr. Kleiner. YouTube unfortunately doesn't have that option. <laughs> he extends his hand and I shake it. I think it's just how flat his head is. Like, that's what's making me laugh. Like, what? <laughs> okay. He seems like a nice man, well-mannered and proper. Likewise. Let us all take a seat and we will prepare to depart. I feel butterflies in my stomach as I sit down. This is my first time flying in a plane and I can't help but feel very excited and nervous. Are you okay, Miss Lovingston? Oh, here we go, the camera appears. Oh, God. I turn to see Nathan sitting across from me with a camera pointed in my direction. <laughs> You're recording? I'm excited. I've never ridden an airplane before. I'm not sure what to expect. It will be a fun and memorable experience, I'm sure. The engines on the airplane make a loud revving noise and I feel a jolt forward. <laughs> Let's check a diary. <laughs> okay, I was hoping there's more. I quickly open up the blind and watch the ground begin to move below us. Soon a weightless feeling hits my tummy and I watch as we slowly get off the ground. It's mesmerizing. We fly into the sky at a surprising rate, and before I know it, I can see entire cities from the airplane window. Incredible. Do you like it? This is amazing. I don't want to look away. No, I can't look away. I don't want to miss anything. <laughs> stickers. <laughs> the angry face stickers. just staring down at the world below me. So many people are down there, going about their lives. It makes me feel somewhat small. I wouldn't recommend looking out the window for extended periods of time. You are not used to flying, so you could end up with motion sickness. Dr. Kleiner, please go away. I'm enjoying myself. Honestly, I'm feeling queasy, but I'm not going to tell them. It's just so beautiful. It's hard to take my eyes off it. I notice Nathan lean forward. Just wait until you see the ocean. In flight, at certain times, it's hard to distinguish where the ocean ends and sky begins. His mask sees where in movies. Imagine the potato wearing one that's on the. Oh no! <laughs> I just. I don't know what 
happened? Like, is it because he's old? Really? Yes, even for someone like me, who flies all over the place. It still mesmerizes me. I can't wait to see it. Nathan chuckles at my outburst. A few hours pass, and true to his word, the ocean comes into view. The nausea in my stomach is overridden by the awe of seeing the ocean for the first time, and from the sky at that. It's beautiful. Isn't it? I couldn't stop myself from staring my first time seeing this view either. When seeing something like this, it really shows you how small you truly are. I was thinking the same thing. Compared to this, our lives are like grain of the grains of sand on the beach. I didn't mean it in a bad way. You got a point there, Varga. He doesn't have any wrinkles. He clearly does Botox. I didn't either. Even if our lives are insignificant or tiny compared to the world, we still get to experience the beauty of it. It's an honor, really. He was clearly born into it, though. Because his father sounds like the, like, original. Wait, because I'm legitimately capable of having a diary, I forget it. <laughs> oh. Ooh, chapter two. I don't know if this is a good place to stop, purely because... Kinda, yeah, I think I'll stop it there because then the next one can be like chapter two because the plan is to So the next two week I am gonna be away That's the end of chapter one, so we'll save it here And you know what, let's let's uh go to the main Let's look at the So those are the options. Oh! <laughs> Who's this? I think the doctor's the cutest. I love capturing precious moments. I'm filming these things so you can look back on these precious memories. Oh, what happened there? Oh, right. Oh, that's a nice way, okay. Oh, that's so cute, that's how they met. Oh, it's so cute. Sorry, I love this. I love that so much. And then... Oh, it's so cute. Oh, I love it so much. Okay, I am pleased. Look at that. Oh, God, what am I doing? But anyway, so the next, the, so the plan is that I'll be playing this and Bell Automata um, here and there. Uh, and like every, every other week I'll be playing one or the other basically uh, on YouTube. That's the plan. However, the next two weeks I am away because I'm going to be, I'm going to be, <laughs> I'm going to be in Florida, which is really weird. So I'll be away for two weeks and I won't be streaming for those two weeks. Uh, but when I get back, I'll be streaming this and Bell Automata on YouTube every, like, once a week or so. So that's the plan. And I'm glad, because these, I'm really enjoying these so far. I really, I, I do like it. I think it's adorable. <laughs> They're both very good games. But... Anyway, I'm going to leave the stream here. Um, thank you very much for coming along. It was lots of fun. Uh, as always, I really appreciate, you know, having people to chat with while playing these Atomic games. It, it like makes the experience like twice as fun as it normally would otherwise. So it'll be really good. Um, but yeah, as always, case, thank you very much for watching. Remember to like and subscribe if you enjoyed the content. And hopefully I will see you in another one of my streams or videos. Bye.